Oh, this is interesting. The United Bodegas of America announced hundreds of bodega workers are now legally licensed to carry concealed guns. The group says this is in an effort to deter deadly crimes from taking place in their stores. Owners say that they have created the secret society of gun owners because they're now taking their safety into their own hands. And that this isn't to have a permit to kill, but a permit to defend themselves. Anyone that's out there looking to uh, rob us, hurt us, kill us, beware, you may be walking into the wrong bodega because now we have the same power, firepower you have. Hundreds of bodega owners in New York City are now legal gun owners. This was nearly a two-year process, and the United Bodegas of America says it took this long because they wanted to do it safely, legally, and secretly. And the knowledge of which bodega owners carrying a concealed gun will be kept a secret. You don't want anyone to shoot you uh, before they rob you because they know you have a weapon. The announcement was made at the UBA headquarters in Inwood, where the courses are held by duly authorized instructors like Johnny Nunez. He's a retired NYPD sergeant and former police academy instructor. Having a, a firearm is a defensive tool. It's a defensive tool. It's not uh, an offensive tool to be used when your life or the life of another human being is, in key words, imminent danger. The group says its only intended use is to prevent themselves or someone in their store from getting killed. In 2015, Junior Guzman Feliz, the 15-year-old boy who was brutally murdered in the Bronx, sought shelter in a bodega before he was dragged out and killed. Last summer, Jose Alba was working behind the counter of a Harlem bodega when this person aggressively shoved him. Alba fatally stabbed the man in self-defense. Uh, they're not out here to provoke any incidents. We are trained to de-escalate situations, but we are also trained to use a firearm if we have to. Barbara Moretta has owned a bodega since 2015. She's considering applying for a license through the group. When they see the woman, they, they think they can do everything, you know. But if I have my gun, so I, I think it's better for the store. And as more bodega owners apply and obtain their permits within this secret society, it will remain a secret society. So I have two questions. One. The anti-gun lobby would want you to believe and has tried to make everybody believe that New York is this awesome place because they have super strict gun laws and that nobody needs to carry a firearm because gun crimes in New York are so low. Yet, when the Supreme Court tells New York, no, you actually have to allow people to get concealed carry permits, why is it that now everyone wants a concealed carry permit in New York? Why is it now they're creating secret societies for people to get concealed carry permits in New York. If everything was so awesome because of your strict gun control laws, I'll tell you why. Because the gun control laws didn't work, period. They didn't make anybody safe. All it did was give more control to the government in New York. Now, my second question, why haven't you gone on to shop.mrcoganonthewar.com and taken advantage of our sale that we have going on for the holiday season? You see, right now, shop.mrcoganonthewar.com, my AKT1s, Love them to death. Right now are on sale for 20% off when you use the code EARPRO. And then on top of that, you have these nice embroidered. Somebody on YouTube tried to argue with me and said that these aren't embroidered. These are embroidered. I don't understand that mentality, but whatever. These awesome premium hoodies that we have on sale at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. Whenever you use the code GETGUNNOW, 15% off. So, after the video, head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and uh, take advantage of the holiday sale. Now, back to this video. So, I, I will say this. It's a little odd that they're calling this a whole secret society so that nobody knows that they have guns, but they're telling everybody in the world right now that the bodega owners are going to have guns. I, I don't have a problem with that. This is kind of reflective of the open carry versus concealed carry debate that you get a lot of the times in the gun space. Some people have the mindset that if you open carry, it makes you less of a target because people will see that you have a gun, you're a harder target, no one's going to attack you. Versus concealed carry where no one has, no one knows that you have a gun and therefore they might assume that you don't have a gun and though you may be more prone to be attacked, you have a certain advantage because the attacker doesn't realize that you have a gun, so you can surprise them, and now you have a gun, and they're like, oh shit, he has a gun, I didn't know that, and then you can throw him off. You get the whole thing. So, 
it's just weird to me that they're calling it a secret society while telling the entire world their secret. I think at this point, most criminals are now just going to assume that the bodega owners have guns. So then the question becomes, do the stores or the bodegas become more or less targets? I would say they become less of a target because a lot of these criminals are criminals of opportunity. They're individuals who are seeking out weak people. They're seeking out people that they think that they can overpower. And so now that they know that they might be dealing with somebody who is actually armed, and there's a culture in New York where traditionally these people weren't armed, definitely changes the game quite a bit. And I would not be surprised if you see a sharp drop in crimes happening at bodegas. But let New York government tell it, oh my God, this is just gonna make things absolutely worse, but I disagree. And another thing I wanna talk about is, he said something about the firearm being a defensive tool. The def firearm is not a defensive tool. It's not an offensive tool, it's just a tool. And, and the reason why I'm harping on this is because the anti-gun lobby likes to use the idea that guns are in and of themselves just evil things that are used to assault people unnecessarily. But in reality, it's the individual who engages in the action of defense or offense. The gun is merely a tool to help aid in those things. And the reason why people want to have concealed carry guns, because what it does is allows them to up the ante against attackers who are using the same guns to attack. The gun is just the thing. The thing, we don't need to give it some human element or some ability, morphous ability to engage in its own action. It's just the thing, it's like a hammer. It's like any other tool that we use to get a certain job done. The same way that a hammer can be an assaultive tool, it can also be a defensive tool if I'm using it to protect myself from somebody who's attacking me. The same way it can be used as a productive tool to hammer a nail. You see where I'm getting at with this? The same way a firearm can be used in sporting competitions to achieve a goal. Same way it can be used to take the life of an animal to feed your family. It's just a tool. But the anti-gun lobby likes to make it so that the gun has this weird, lifelike, sentient aspect to it in order to scare people. But I don't think they should do that. I don't think we should do that. It's just a tool. What really matters are the individuals. And the beautiful thing about that is once we start focusing on the individuals, then we can start getting to the root issue of why individuals are engaging in the behavior that they do. But if we just continuously focused on the tool, we're never gonna get to the inherent behavior or the issues, or the underlying issues that are causing the problems that we are having in the society. All things considered, I, I think this is a good thing. I, I think everybody who is in a position to possibly be attacked or dealt with by criminals should be allowed to get a concealed carry permit. I don't think we should have to form secret societies to do it, but I will say I do like the idea and the fact that they are making these individuals undergo some training. I don't think it should be mandatory in order to get the concealed carry permit, but I do like the idea that they are taking it upon themselves to get as many people trained within their secret society. I think everyone should be doing this. I think the government should honestly be subsidizing the people's ability to actually get training with their firearms because as we know, firearm ownership isn't exactly cheap. And we have the anti-gun lobby to thank for that. But that's a whole nother video. But I do like this idea and I think it's a good thing because I think everyone should be able to defend themselves against potential attacks. The same way I think non-bodega store owners should be allowed to carry firearms to protect themselves as well. So. I think things are gonna to start to change in New York and I think right now the New York government is screeching and screaming and pulling their hair out because they're losing the sweet, beautiful, juicy control that they once had over their citizenry. And I'm telling you right now, the more people start owning firearms in New York, that entire culture is going to start changing. And trust me, the politicians on the left, Democrats, they're not gonna like that. And yes, I did point out specifically to Democrats because let me know the last time you heard of a pro-gun Democrat. Openly, not secret society pro-gun Democrat, but openly. And I guarantee you, there'll either be none or maybe one or two in a sea of many on the other side in other parties that are also pro-gun. Now, before you go and watch another one of my videos, make sure you head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and take advantage of our holiday sale. Like I told you before, my favorite over the ear, ear pro, 20% off whenever you use the code EARPRO. And then of course, my premium embroidered hoodies, 15% off when you use the code GETGUNNOW. So head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com, but before you do that, make sure you click the like, share, and subscribe button, click the bell symbol, and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good idea for the Bodega Secret Society? 
Or do you think it's a bad idea and think everything is just going to go awry and everyone's going to start shooting at everybody, yada, yada, yada.